All right, we're back, fellas. Last time we went on like four different, or no, three different quests to uh, the place where the main keys are from. We got them peeled chestnuts. They finished our base. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's a cyndaquil head. It's got some blush on it. And now today, let's see what we're going to be doing. So far, no one's really talked to us about nothing, so it just looks like we're uh, going to be doing some, you know, filler quests until the next story point. So anyway, the range of moves. Moves have varying ranges. Moves that affect the entire room have a range of two tiles in a corridor. That's good to know. Moves like Growl can be used effectively in a corridor, but if the visibility is limited to just one tile, the effect will also be limited. Okay, I can see that. That makes sense. And this is about the Pecha Scarf. Pop top popularity. Is I don't know if it's Pecha or Pekka, whatever. Among rescue teams, there is growing demand for equipment that is not only practical, but also fashionably appealing. The pink Pekka Scarf is especially popular. Even the Kecleon shop is having trouble keeping it in stock. If you're lucky enough to spot one, make a beeline for it. That's interesting. Okay, we got a D-Quest for Uproar Forest. Now, we got one last time that it said it was a special quest, meaning that the Pokemon that we would be helping would um, request to join our team, which I'm hoping is the one that we do next. Real quick though, I'm gonna go drop off this Munch Belt and such. Mostly just the Munch Belt. Everything else pretty useful, because we already use all of our reviver seeds and everything else. Throw all those plain seeds in there until we get small stomach on someone. And obviously that silver dojo ticket is going away. That's staying in. Okay, start away economy. Cool. Uh, real quick, let's check the Kecleon, see if uh, green and purple have anything for us. Oran berries. I actually need all those. Oh, and I'm out in an invitation. Oh. Okay, and I need the. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some money real quick. Come back, grab that invitation and that other reviver seed because I need to rebuild up my resources before any any of the big stories start again. I'm gonna just take it all, because, you know, we're just gonna bring it right back. Oh, and they got an orange berry for free. Perfect. Okay. Worried about all the berries. Let's buy the invitation. Buy this. Buy that, just because we need it. The warp seed, yeah, sure. No. Oh, nope. Nothing. Sorry. I already bought everything that I want from you. That's the first. Barely ever buy items from these guys. Especially this one. But these... I would like to grab. And that's fine, we'll still be at over 10k. And for now, I'm just hold on to them until uh, we're off cam and... I'm editing moves and stats and stuff with items. 10.99? Very cool. Okay, let's go store those TMs and the seeds that we bought. Some of the apples too. Only take two orange berries with us because I don't want to waste them right now. The um, invitation we're keeping because you never know when you're gonna see one of those uh, invitation houses or whatever. Ugh, I forgot to grab quests. Sorry, I don't mean to be so back and forth. Bonsai! Okay, let's see. If there's, okay, there's a, some D's and some E's. And they're all at the same place. So I'm gonna take those for now. You know, let's just take them all. We got 24 slots and only 18 taken now. 
That's fine. Okay. Quest time, I suppose. You know, we'll do two days, so we'll do Illusory Grotto just to show you guys what it's like. Because that's going to be interesting, actually. Sometimes you see, like, rarer or more interesting Pokemon there, or just items and such. But yeah, the uh, amount of floors on Illusory Grotto, they're always, always random, so you'll never know how many floors there are. It could be one, it could be 100. Nice! I'll take that Oddish. It's got shared happiness, whatever that does, I'll figure that out later. Ooh, a revive all orb, that's super helpful. And that's exactly what I was meaning with this dungeon, is like, you'll get extremely useful items and sometimes just cool Pokemon to have with you. Like, yeah, we've seen Oddish, we've seen Sudowoodo, we've seen Sunflora, but like, you know, if you can friend them, that's cool too. It's nice to see them, nice to see them stronger as well. Now we're on floor 4, it could end the next floor, it could end 10 floors from now, we'll see. Sometimes I feel like it, like, factors in how much you actually explore the dungeon, explore the floors and such. Like, that's probably totally in improbable, but... That's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> nice. Yeah. We're doing great. Our ember is extremely powerful, which is crazy. Oh, that's a big ol' apple. Yeah, that Sudabuda won't bother us. It's not sleeping or anything, it's just... We all know pseudo-widows like to disguise as trees, and unless you uh, approach them, they will approach you. It's cool that it tells us exactly where the items are and everything. It's very interesting. Come on, move. Yeah, there you go. Nice, and flame wheel's doing pretty good now. Take some steps away from that sun floor so we can walk freely. Nice, another orange berry, perfect. Yeah, we used all of our orange berry. Oh, Banzai! See, I was telling you that statue makes him just show up randomly in dungeons and such. Please, no. Oh, I wanted him to live so I could take him out. I think Pokemon will only ask to join your uh, rescue team if you defeat them. Oh, come on. Two in a row. Oh, we got a reviver seed. A full one. That's very cool. And, uh, to be a little bit biased, I like Bonsly a lot more than I like Sudowoodo. Recently I got a, uh, I got traded a shiny Bonsly on Pokemon Go from one of my friends. And it's only because he has so many, like, extra shinies and I told my love Bond's life, so I can't evolve it now. Oh, let's do this. That'll be some XP. Just give us some space. Oh, nice. I think we already have one, though. So, we only need two. Nice. That's gonna be a rare item. Just gotta pick it up. You gotta work on your accuracy, brother. Funnel fun, that could be useful. That's good for uh, throwable items. I don't think people uh, or other Pokemon can catch them if you use funnel fun. It makes it like a more direct hit. Yeah, see? Just like I was saying. I should have just thrown one. I would have taken him out. I keep forgetting I can do that. Escape orb, that's really useful too. Use an escape orb to escape safely from a dungeon without losing your items or poke. Use it when you're in trouble. And that's super helpful. No! Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Ooh, a full reviver seed again. That revives only not only your full HP, 
also your belly and all of your power points. Super useful. This is like the longest illusory grotto. Love the items I'm finding though. Let me take out the bonds life. Would have felt more comfortable if I was a square closer. Because it's probably just superstition, but uh. I feel like if you're right in their face, then you have a better chance of befriending them. I really want that bonds line. Even if I don't end this camp, I just want them to hang out with us for a minute. Dang it! I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, you notice all these orbs, they're like the most useful ones. All of the seeds, they're the most useful ones. Like, these are great for item pickups. Ooh, I have it. Oh man, that's awesome. Attack and special attack are boosted when you take damage. Dang, that is crazy heavy. I mean, we got enough big apples, I don't even mind. Yeah, look at all that. Jeez Louise. I wish I came here sooner, but like, you know, we had a lot going on, so it's good that we didn't. I know the stairs are right there, but with all these items, I want to see what those are. I should use double kick, but either way he's gone. Ooh! Nice! Now we don't even gotta evolve the Zigzagoon. Though they're pr the Zigzagoon is probably higher level by now. Oh, another revive all orb, that's super helpful. It even revolve, uh, revives the Pokemon that... Um, joined you on the quest, not only the ones that, um, are on your team originally. Wow, vacuum wave reaches. Look at that. I might bring the... Whoever has riled up with me more often. This is crazy. I got a whole crew going with us and all these guys can be befriended. Who just... Ro what? Rototiller? I've never heard of that before. Oh, come on, Banzai? Wait, what was that? Revive all? Oh, um, yep. Swap for this apple. A tiny one. Is that a reviver seed? I hate to keep going back, but these are all super useful. I would love to pack up on them. Um, I'll drop a pebble. Don't need the pebbles when we got the ore, uh, the the rocks, and plus the uh, as soon as you hit the spikes, that's like oh, oh wow. I got so many iron spikes at home too. Or no, are these ones I've just been running with? So yeah, something to remember too is the only po shiny Pokemon that you'll see in this game are uh, boss Pokemon in the dungeons. Any Pokemon that just look like it because, you know, like Gengar, Scyther, Bulbasaur, a lot of them just look close to their original color palette. They won't ever be shiny unless they're a boss. Just uh, keep in mind. Ooh. And I don't even mind dropping all the apples because I, I got so many and I got so many more in the bank. We really need these other items. Floor 12 though. This is like the furthest I've ever gone in Illusory Grotto. Ooh. Hey, we just got your camp too! Yes! I love that angry face boy. It's like, I feel like if you 
if it's like your first time ever in it or yep okay so we finished but it, I feel like if it's your first time ever in it it's gonna be like one of the longest or, like if you don't go in it for a while or if you go in it like abundantly like those are all factors to make it longer but typically I only get to like single digit floors Oddish? I'm gonna name it Raditz. Just because we were talking about Dragon Ball earlier and how a lot of the characters are named after vegetables or foods. And this just reminds me of Raditz for some reason, the name Oddish. Capital Z? No. <laughs> Nice. Now, Ladybug. Uh, oh crap, I meant to name him something. Slicer. Yeah, first watching the Pokemon anime was when I was a kid. Hearing Scyther say his name, all I heard was Slicer, Slicer. In the episode with him in Electabuzz. I'm not gonna do what a uh, Electabuzz sound like to me because it's goofy as hell. I'm gonna just spell it phonetically. Slice a uh, slice a slice a what? In line new. Oh, man. This one's just gonna be plain simple, because I don't want to keep thinking of a million names. <laughs> We're gonna give it a football name, Lineback. Because he just runs in straight lines. I mean, I don't know what linebackers do in football, though, so... It's just, you know... If you're supposed to be a mushroom, I hope you know what name you're getting. Get it like Captain Toad, like Toad from Mario, like Toadstool. <laughs> he looks like a toad. Okay. Now that's one night of regular quest done. Oh, what? Another earthquake. <coughs> there have been a lot of earthquakes lately. Yeah. Now tonight, well today, we'll go and do some actual missions. <coughs> Rather than just random dungeons. Did you notice the earthquake earlier? Of course. Well, you're probably sleeping in the rock still. Who are you, Lombre? Or are they gonna start a mob again? Shiftry's calling everyone out for what? What's he got room to call people out for? A ride on? Ooh, a ride you in a mechanium! I love how Raichu looks in this game. Like, I, I just love seeing him. I love Raichu. Love the whole Pikachu line except for Pikachu. I, uh, it's not my style to get up in front of everyone like this. Same. Sorry, this isn't the time for that. You're right. Big trouble. Alakazam's team went underground, but they haven't returned. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's been a little while. It's been like a week almost, in, like just in game time. That's it, we haven't heard anything from them, to be honest. We have no idea what became of them. I guess we gotta go save them. This is Alakazam you're talking about. 
I know he's a 5,000 IQ. You don't know if Groudon? Yeah, why don't we go underground? See for ourselves. I got double kick. You got water gun. We got it. Oh yeah, so many rescue teams together today. I propose that a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges underground? Say! Sounds like Javarus. Yeah. Don't bother, what do you mean? They're plenty strong enough. And there's plenty tougher Pokemon out there. You're a you're a jerk. What? Well, you are a water type. You'd be the perfect one to go. Team Hydro's Roughneck Blast Toys. Nice. The water spouts on his back and rocket water so fast that it punches through thick iron plates. Well. That's not true, because <laughs> uh, we know your uh, iron uh, steel types are resi resistant to you. Yeah, water would be strong against ground, but you gotta remember his abilities. It'll make water just completely evaporate. Ooh, an artillery from Team Constrictor. This just makes a whole new team. That's interesting. Oh, well, it's a she. She snares her foes with her tentacles that headbutts them. Shit. <laughs> She'd be nasty in any battle of endurance. Very cool. And who else? In goal. He's the most brutal of Team Rumble Rock. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. That's ironic. Should suit you fine. <laughs> this is interesting too because later on you'll just see him hanging out by the uh, the guild bolts and posts. All three of them together, like they're a whole new team, but they're all leaders of teams. I wonder what their full teams would look like. Tell me he just has two war turtles, he just has two remorades, and he just has two gravelers. That, that right now's gotta be a part of it. I don't even know. Can't be helped. Okay, I guess we're gonna go do our own thing again. Blastoise's team can take care of things underground. Yeah, sure, that's what we thought about Elokazam. So let's go do some quests. Oh, well I can deposit. Illusory Grotto is still up. That is ridiculous. I'm gonna go do Sinister Woods. Maybe get the Ampharos. My wife sent me a flat, uh, snap flipping me off. Mean. Why are your balls out? No, they're not. <laughs> this isn't Zoom. <laughs> keep one apple, keep three max elixirs and three big apples, obviously. Or no, send the max. Keep the regular elixirs. Or the ethers. Max Ether. Send all the Oran Berries. We don't really need anything crazy for here. Just mostly status stuff like Poison and Paralyze. Yeah, you can keep all this. We need that. But I'm taking the rest. Especially the Invitation. You never know what you're gonna find there. Jeez, Louise, Bataker is level 26 with us already. I might take him to see Groudon. Oh, okay. Dosox is with us. I was about to attack him. <laughs> Come on, Sudo. 
flail. You miss. Ooh, it upgraded. It's a level two only now. That's crazy. What? Just went through the stairs. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> that seemed pretty palpable. Gee, there's that many floors of this dungeon. We're already on three and no rescues? We have four rescues to do. I thought there was only like floor, four floors, but I, I'm probably not remembering right. I gotta start reading that stuff. My lord, we're going to the fourth floor. Fuck. Oh, that's not even our guy. Take him out. Yes. Yes. So we don't need another Poochiana. There we go, finally, floor five, and we have our first of four rescues. Ridiculous. Ooh. Nice, we could take- <gasps> Small stomach! Okay, so Silcoon becomes a beautifly. Okay, that yeah, I could work with that. No matter oh, oh, squat up too though. Oh my lord, this is so cool. I love having squat up on my boys. Oh man, I love getting new members. Nice, we save Wormpole. One down, three to go. Yes, yes, we'll see you at the post office. Bye bye. No. I hate that I ask if you want to escape. It's like, man, we ain't weaklings. We ain't babies. Okay, so we picked up a tiny re reviver seed. And if you remember what I said last time about the full reviver seed, it ups your power points, your belly, and everything else. The tiny reviver seed only fully revives your HP. Still very useful, but you know, if you don't have ethers, elixirs, or apples or anything else or small stomach on you, then the full reviver seed will bring up everything all at once. Just uh, some clarification, just in case. Might as well explain the mechanics while we're playing a little bit and fill up some time as well. Wow, there must be like 10 floors on here. Okay, bring Dust Ox to Letty Buzz side. Floor 7? I don't remember that there being that many here. It's crazy. We don't need two Shroomish, especially you have no rare quality. We can just feed, uh... Those jelly beans to the other one to give him a rare quality. Come on, get next to your friend. There you go. Letty Buzz, happy. Very nice. I always like bug Pokemon. I wish they were a little bit stronger. But I love Heracross in this game. Just shows off its strength to the maximum. I also named him after, um, my pseudonym for one of my bands, Big Buff Beetles. One was Claire and Spotiker Beetle, and the other one... God, if I remember. But yeah. Wow. Shameless plug. Go check, go check out Big Buff Beetles. They're on Apple Music, Amazon, Spotify, YouTube, everything you could think of. I think we're even streamable in China. God damn hiccups. So what is that, three out of four? Well, two groups of ladybugs. And they all just w wake up at once. Terrible. Nice. 
Yo, the kills would make it easy. Oh no! Oh, they're all in the same room even. Nope, I want to get all, all this XP. Oh wow, I forgot I'm confused. Still, like, still though, that's crazy. I thought I walked around enough. Nice. Meh. Looks like a Muppet when he's leveling up, like... Just mouth opens wide and all you see is his tongue. Jeez Louise. Hmm. They just keep on confusing me. best thing to do when you get confused is to just move rather than try and do an attack because you would rather just move in the wrong dire direction than hurt one of your uh, allies right I'm gonna hold my breath for like 10 seconds That's all four. Yes. When it asks, would you like to exit the dungeon now? That means that you're all out of all your quests. You can just leave. Because if it doesn't say there's more quests remaining, then you're good. So, Coon, we know you're going to be a beauty fly, so... I'm gonna name you something special. Oh. Where's the Y? Oh, right in the middle is the S. Beauty ass. That Odoya and Syriax fans, uh, donations to the left. <laughs> Beauty ass. Sunflora. I got a name. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to delete the whole thing. Where's the hyphen? Uh. What is it? Ince? Oh no. Oh wow, hyphen was in here. I'm ridiculous. Sunny D. All you orange juice lovers out there. This all Ooh, weather lock orb. That's gonna be super useful later on. Ooh, wow, and 150 points. Crazy. Okay, Wormpole, what you got for us? Detect band? That's gonna be for items and traps, I think. Protein? Gummy? I keep calling them beans just because they look like jelly beans to me. But they're just gummies. Don't take me wrong. Decoy seed and violent seed, those are very conflicting. Interesting. Hmm. 
Okay. Sure, we did good, but let's do one more good doing. The next morning, I woke up in my own head with another earthquake. Oh, you came right into our crib this time. This must be real. Okay, time to go to Pokemon Square. Oh, Lombre, what's going on here? Whoa, 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 well, Mars. Oh, wow, they actually came back. Well, we haven't seen Alakazam's team come back at all, so it's like... I'm just curious, are they waiting for a rescue? Are they being held hostage? That place is... it's rough. Seriously, we couldn't get far enough to even see Groudon, that's crazy. I don't ever- I don't want to ever go back to that bad place. To a place that bad, sorry. It's far worse than we had imagined, you're right. Who's laughing? Should've known. G -g -g Gengar, how dare you? What are you saying? We have to try, this is about saving Elkazam's team. k k k I like that. You really- you really find thinking hard, don't you? Oh, that's insulting. Even they look smart compared to you. Who? Oh yeah, these guys. Being scared. So being scared is smart? I don't think so. We're a rescue team, we gotta be brave. Yeah, sure, you would burn up for sure. Get over it, don't expect to be rewarded just because you tried. Sometimes it's better to wise up and give up. Okay. Did I say something profound? He's such a college student. Or Kanos, I don't know anymore. What should we do? Even if it's the impossible, should we try to save Alakazam? Let's go. I'm a go-getter. Like I said at the very beginning, I am full of energy 100%. We going in. Yeah, that's right. We're going to rescue Alakazam's team. Ooh. We just gotta come up with a good teammate. Maybe some good moves. Weren't they lying? Wait, weren't they living fugitives until recently? Yeah, but for wrong, like the wrong reasons. The rescue might be too much of a challenge for us. Don't say that. Even so, we're still a rescue team. You're right. To help Pokemon suffering from the natural disasters, that's why we started our rescue team. I like you, Mudkip. You're doing good. You're doing good tonight. Mudkip's standing up for the... standing up for the people. Why don't you do like everyone else and wise up? You mean... be scared? That's right. Everyone's against Gengar all over again. Pride is rescue. Vegeta would be proud. Why would you listen to that clown and be persuaded? I go if you're facing certain defeat, because we're not. Ooh. We've only failed once. That's right, no time to be lying around. No more wallowing in a woe is me self pity. If we give up, that's how it ends. Not for me. You're right. We gotta give it our all. If only all of these Pokemon would go with us. I would take Meganium, Lombre, Rhydon, Golem, Blastoise, Octillery. We would, we would be good. More than good. Yeah, cheer, boys. Everyone, it's time to get to work. Let's show them what rescue teams are really about. That's right. Okay. So let me go check out our items. Check out our team. 
And then we'll get going to Gengar. Quick crying. I already got Bulldoze. Let's see what you got. Green Kecleon. I got plenty of Max Ether, so I'm just grab that one Max Elixir. Okay. And so, we find out Elikazam doesn't return with his team. Blastoise and two other team leaders go out to try and face Groudon, but don't even make it to him. Gengar tries to put off everyone from trying to save Elikazam and the rest of the boys. But Mars here, he keeps all of our hopes up and keeps us going. And now has us getting ready to go on our next, next re rescue mission against another legendary Pokemon Groudon to save Alakazam and Tyranitar and Charizard. And we will see you next time when we go to face Groudon. Thank you for watching. Come back next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, fellas.